good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, indeed it is. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday morning. We definitely are having a fantastic one, eh? I think so. Another beautiful Saturday morning, it looks like. Yeah, we're gonna put the hammer down going home. 700 feet, turn left on 1st Street, and then turn left in 700 feet. And then we're gonna go re get ready and go f camping. Yes, indeed, that's the plan anyways. In 0 0.2 miles, take the entrance to the left on I-94 West. All right, you RJ, you tell them where we're going. It's exactly where we're going. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go make our way home. In 600 feet, home. take the entrance to the left on I-94 West. Like I told you yesterday, we have 267 miles to go to get to Winnipeg. And then we got another hour to go home too, but uh, hey, it's all right. Go drop this load at the customer and Pick that's up our what boy. Huh? Pick up our boy. Yep, pick up our boy and then we're going home. That's for sure. I'm sure he will be excited to see us. <laughs> yeah, he'll be very excited to see us. about four and a half Continue hours worth of driving for today, miles. till we get to Winnipeg. Yeah. Well, let's uh, have ourselves a fantastic Saturday. Just like you guys are probably having. And let's see uh, if we actually get to go camping this afternoon. Probably be in Winnipeg just after one or something like that. And then uh, do our delivery or basically drop and pick up our son and hammer down home and get ready. And that usually takes a couple of hours too. So yeah, it'll probably be a little bit later by the time we get to the lake. But uh, hey, we'll get there. We'll get there. The sun is up usually till about 10 o'clock anyway. So have enough time to get uh, everything ready and set up our tents and all that fun stuff yeah I'm excited to go we haven't done that kind of camping in years so I'm excited go so just by ourselves you know change it up for a, for a change you know <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's cruise on down the road here and uh, we'll show you guys our campsite when we get there later on in the afternoon. Welcome to Manitoba, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's right. We are back in Manitoba, home sweet home. We're on the home stretch now, that's for sure. Got about an hour and 15 minutes to our delivery place. And we already got us a message from dispatch. They want me to bring a uh, loaded trailer from uh, the yard back to the Steinbach yard. From Winnipeg yard to Steinbach yard. So uh, we're going to be doing that. And then we're going to be getting ready to go camping. Yeah, we're happy, happy. Well, we had us a good trip so far. I think everybody is happy. Wife finally got to ride along with us again. It's been a long time since she's been uh, coming uh, along for a ride, but finally managed to make it happen. I think she enjoyed it, right? Oh, yeah. There That's you fun. go. Lots of new sceneries to see. Yeah. So, yeah, we had us an awesome time together. Really enjoyed it. But here we are, back in Manitoba. So we'll see if we're gonna get any rain up here. Starting to get a little sunny again there, but in North Dakota, we got us a little bit of a rain shower there earlier. And I was looking at the radar and looks like uh, 
It was just more on the southern part. It might go across over there a little bit, but I think by the time we go to the lake, that will be disappeared. That will be gone. But looks like we should have a good, uh, good camping weekend. Hopefully, anyways. Yeah, no, we don't need any more rain. Everything is starting to get flooded over here already, so. We heard on their satellite radio yesterday saying that even up there in Wisconsin, I know the one place that we usually go to deliver to, there on Highway 13 that we gotta go drive down, was washed out. A few other highways up there too, I think even Highway 2 was washed out. So yeah, there's a few places up there and they're talking that could take a month before they have those highways restored. So yeah, that's not gonna be good. But that does happen occasionally, yeah. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's gonna be a fantastic weekend. We're gonna make the best of it anyways. I'm gonna take the, take the truck over to the shop and hopefully get my alternator replaced on Monday on the APU unit. Hopefully that will work again and then I think next week, Tuesday, we're planning on going out again and I think we're going to take the sun along this next trip. If he choose to, let's see what yeah. he choose. Yep, I think he's going to come along. So, let's go take care of business and then uh, We'll talk with you guys in a few. Alrighty guys, we are loaded as you guys can see. <laughs> yes indeed, we're just here at the drive through here at Dairy Cream. We ordered some uh, food to go. And then we're off to camp. Too bad it's drizzling a little bit, but uh, hey, we're going camping anyways, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, anyways, we'll go get our order here and then uh, we'll make our way down to camp. Hey guys, let's take a look. Here we are at our campsite. Yeah, I know it's a little bit close to the road, but hey, it's in the back here where we got our tents set up. Hey, <laughs> just tipped over my beer. Uh-huh, but we got more in the, in the freezer. We got the campfire going. Got some sunflower seeds. Oh yeah, we're okay. camping. <laughs> Behind me, that day is gonna come 